Fantastic. So I want to talk about here and about the power of understanding the individuals in your team and making sure that you're meeting the needs of those individuals. So let me uh, frame this in a story. So when I sailed around the world in 2000, 2001 on the, on the BC Challenge, the world's toughest yacht race, uh, we just finished the first leg. We'd, uh, we'd, we actually first place, we won coming into Boston. And we were a week out of that, heading uh, down through the Atlantic, down towards uh, Buenos Aires in uh, Argentina. And about a week in, one of the, uh, the watch leaders decided that it was not something they wanted to continue with. Now, the, watch, the boat is, on the, is divided into two watches. So eight people on one watch, eight people on the other watch, um, a navigator and the captain. And basically it's a tough gig managing a boat like that because you've got uh, 18 strong personalities and the essence to that is all about how do you manage those people and get the best out of them. So the previous watch leader decided it was not right for, for them and so they stood down. I was on the other watch and I was brought across to take control of this watch. They were dispirited and there was not harmony and things weren't going that well. Now I should add that um, we didn't know this at the time but several days later we were going to go through a hurricane with hurricane force winds, huge seas, thunder and lightning. And you know, I had to take control of this team and work out how to get this team into a functioning, happy team who was sailing fast and working well together. I should also add, by the way, that at the time I was the youngest person on the boat, I was aged uh, 28, everyone else was a lot more experienced um, than I was. So I didn't realise it at the time, but what I employed was uh, what's called the, the theory of, of the six human needs. And what I did was quickly assessed the team of people that I had there and how could I get them to all start working together. So I made three changes. So the first change was that you know, I identified who was going to be or who I thought was most likely to be my first follower because I had to assert my authority. So I needed to have someone who would support me. So I went and found what to me was actually the oldest person on the boat and probably the wisest person on the boat, a very good friend of mine uh, nowadays, and he was then of course. And um, basically I said, look, I need your help in taking control of the watch and getting things into a harmonious place. And he was hugely supportive and gave me lots of advice and I knew he would back me up no matter what. The next thing I had to do was we had two disruptive individuals. Now both these individuals were driven by significance. In their day jobs before they got on the boat, they both done high powered jobs and had demanded a lot of respect. Now they'd moved into a crew of people and I don't believe that they were getting the respect that they felt they warranted. So what I did was very simple. I just moved them to different parts on the boat and I gave them responsibility and I gave them control and I acknowledged that they had a really valuable role to play and that I really wanted to understand their perspective. So I made them feel important, significant and respected. It's not rocket science, but it was all about understanding those individuals. And sure enough, we moulded together and we ended up with a happy team. Of course, you know, there were ups and downs as you're always going to get when you've got 18 people on a boat for 40 days at a time. But, you know, we got ourselves into a working situation. It was happy, harmonious. The hurricane came. We weathered the hurricane. We carried on. We were fine. And we ended up moving actually from 12th place up to 5th place in that leg. And so, you know, great testament to the fact we managed to get things back together. So the essence, the learning from this is to understand the individuals in your team and a little while you're going to understand what those six human needs are and we're going to share some theory and some application around that. But the essence of it, understand the different individuals you've got. What needs do they need to meet and how can you make sure they meet those needs?